Oh hi! Today, we're going to fetch Oli. So now we have got Oli in the car together with mom behind. So Oli is in the box. The mom is to make sure that the box doesn't fall over and when I drive. And now we're going to go home and introduce her uh, introduce him, sorry, to Bella. Good boy. Good boy. Only good boy. Alright, so one thing we have learned from other French people is uh, when you introduce a new dog to your home, uh, and then there's an existing dog that already lives in the house. So you do not just bring the new dog back into the home. So you introduce them and let them play downstairs uh, before letting the new dog go into the home because the old dog, the older dog, might feel a bit threatened uh, that the new dog comes into this space. So here we are. I am bringing Bella to meet all the dogs there. Yeah, is that? You want to meet Oli? You want to meet Oli? Bella, see Oli? <laughs> and Bella and Oli meet for the first time. So right now they're checking each other out. Hopefully they get to play a while and then bond before um, they both go home together. So if you can see, um, Oli is a little bit smaller than Bella. <laughs> he wants to play. So they're quite tired. Bella doesn't particularly seem to like Ollie because Ollie is invading into her space. So we are going to have to change that. Bella, go play with your little brother. Huh? Good girl. Hey boy. Can you chill? Can you chill? Good girl. See, Oli is tired. Oli has um, less stamina than Bella. Uh, Bella just wants to get away from her, so, from him. <laughs> Come on, Bella, go home. So what we are going to do is to give Oli a confined space and not let him run around the house. So uh, we are going to crate train him. So they are home now. And this is the first time Oli has been home. So how do you find your house? Hmm? Oh, I'm tired. So we have been back for a while and um, I have spent the past few hours bathing both of them and also uh, giving them some basic grooming. So right now, this is the situation. So we set up a crate over here. There isn't much space in our house because Singapore properties are expensive. <laughs> so um, in all this crate, 
this is the area where uh, he sleeps and he rests, he plays and that is the area where he does his business so all is quite natural because uh, since in the past few hours he has already peed in the pee pad three times so we changed the pee pad uh, once and here he is so he's making a lot of noise okay. the other situation that we have is Bella so apparently Bella isn't very pleased she has been a bit emo so take a look at Bella Bella is over there in the balcony and she isn't feeling very happy <laughs> so hopefully the situation changes uh, in the next few weeks as they get to interact with each other and maybe go for walks together so uh, they become better friends and then we will see how so this is the third day of Ollie's crate training uh, basically he does quite well in um, doing his business on the pee tray and the pee pad so sometimes uh, about maybe a few hours a day we let him out and run around and play with Bella so um, during that period of time sometimes uh, when he wants to do his business he doesn't go back to uh, the pee tray on the, in the crate so he does it outside so we have to um, bring him back in the first one and a half days when Oli first uh, come into the house he doesn't eat at all so um, he drinks some milk, uh, the goat milk that we gave it to him and um, that's all, no solid food so um, I guess it's from the maybe the stress of moving but uh, since last night all his appetite changed so um, he has been eating all the solid foods, the chicken that we are giving her so um, everything is getting better so uh, remember when your pets first come home maybe they won't eat that much and uh, give them like bit by bit and uh, put him some uh, form of like, milk so that they drink and because he lost quite a bit of weight during quarantine so um, right now we are giving him like maybe four or five meals every day so every two hours we give him a little bit of food and hopefully he will fatten him up so when he gets to um, the original size that he's supposed to be uh, then we will go back to the normal meal times of uh, one time in the morning and one time in the evening Oli mum mum come what is it? Good boy. See, he's hungry, his appetite is good. So, he gets some chicken with blueberries and um, some kibos and sweet potato. And Bella is just <laughs> waiting. Bella, you don't get food, you only get to eat in the evening. Holy mama. So sometimes we have to sort of coax him into eating like um, maybe put our hand here uh, and then once he starts so he'll continue eating so he's eating all the chicken and the pork first uh, some of the blueberries uh, but he's leaving some of the kibo so sometimes he eat the kibo sometimes not i guess uh, we will slowly cut down on the kibos soon so check this out uh Oli has peed on the pee pad so you're a good boy Oli. good boy so now that he finished his food i'm going to let him out to play for a little while with bella bella excuse me So nowadays they get along better with each other. Uh, Bella likes to play tug of war all the time and sometimes uh, me and Lynette we don't want to play or we don't have the energy to play with her so she'll bring her toy to Ollie and uh, get Ollie to play with her and uh, Ollie is right now trying to finish up Bella's snack so it's quite a glutton and they hang out together see So they hang out around each other quite well. Um, one thing I've noticed is since um, since Oli came over, uh, Bella is more needy. So that's a good thing because uh, Be Bella didn't Bella used to like to do 
her own things and wants to play all the time. Right now, um, she just lay by us and try to get our attention and affection. See? Look at this. So most of the time, Bella will be at the balcony looking outside and um, just enjoying the view by herself. So right now, she's at my feet and uh, Ollie is just uh, roaming around. So, see? They get along quite well, I would say, for now. This is three days since Oli first came, so I guess we are making quite good progress. So after maybe a couple of days more, I'm going to remove the cage and uh, just integrate Oli into the house. So if you have any suggestions um, about how to mingle two new dogs together, uh, please drop your comments down below and um, we can learn from each other. So um, this is what I'm doing right now and uh, it might not be the best uh, situation, but uh, it's a situation that uh, I learned from other people and hopefully it gets better. So share with us some ways um, that you feel that it might improve the situation. All right, and um, we'll see you in the next video. See ya.